Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from one of our YouTube subscribers. Let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about graphing this one. To send your own questions, please consider to subscribe our channel. The analysis looks something like this. If you have x squared, basically, and 8y squared, if you were to open this up, with a, equal, a does not equal to b, and you have an ellipse. Uh, second thing is we want to get rid of the 16 over here by dividing it. This help us to see which side is the ellipse elongated along with. We need to see what number on the bottom is divided that's larger. Here's a quick uh, review on graphing ellipse. X term, if it's dividing by a larger number, then it's elongated along X axis. If Y term is dividing by a larger number, then it's elongated along Y axis. The second thing you need to know is the center shift, it's always take the form of distance formula. It's X minus CX plus Y minus CY, where the center is CX, CY over here. So in our case, once we convert it, we can see X minus CX, that's 4, Y minus CY, that's 5. So center is at 4, 5, it's elongated along X axis because this one is bigger than this one. Let's write up the solution. All right, so here's the solution. We're going to divide it by 16 to normalize it. And we're going to write 16 into 4 squared. You'll see later on y. Same thing with 2 into the radical square roots of 2. Center is at 4 and 5. It's a cx minus cx, y minus cy as revealed earlier. And it's elongated along x-axis because 4 squared here is bigger than uh, square roots of 2 squared. Now to find a vertex, here's what you do. You grab the center over here and move four units to either direction. That gives you the vertex. That's the major axis. That's why we write it into the four square term. This length, how much you move, has to be the under the square term here. Now on the minor axis, since it's a two gets converted into the square roots of two squared, uh, up and down movement for the minor axis is uh, square roots of two on, uh, along either direction. Uh, the final answer for vertex is eight and five over here and zero and five for the other one. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.